Some people tested for coronavirus waiting to find out if they have it or not can be the worst part. As you heard him say, it means days in isolation, sometimes with few symptoms. Now a Knoxville lab is testing thousands of samples, hoping to speed up the process. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan has the story of how long one first responder has been waiting for test results. First responder Matt Fagiana first felt it in the middle of the night. Initially just thought I had like a really bad cough uh, that came out of nowhere. Um, started having a little bit of a fever. But when he started having trouble catching his breath, he went to get tested. Doctors at Blunt Memorial Hospital swabbed his nose for coronavirus. It's an odd feeling because it goes about five, uh, five inches up into your nasal cavity. Uh, so it's not pleasant, but uh, I knew it was necessary. That was last Wednesday. He still has not heard back. You're struggling with A, I don't know, yes or no, positive or negative, uh, and then uh, you're also doing it by yourself. It's a lonely, frustrating wait that Christian Clevenger's Knoxville lab hopes to speed up. We're entering in with just north of 10,000 specimens in our facility. How long does this test processing take? As demand spikes for our testing, we're going to be looking at that 24 hour to 36 hour time period. This weekend, technicians at his Integrity Laboratories near Cedar Bluff started processing tests conducted at local hospitals. They're prioritizing first responders like Matt Fagiana. That's been the hardest part is sitting in the house, not knowing, uh, do I have it, do I not have it? He's feeling better now, just a cough left as he still waits for results. A lot of, uh, a lot of time with my dog, a lot of time with Netflix, um, I have probably the cleanest house in Knox County now. And 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan joining us live. And Cole, I know you asked the director of Knox County Health Department today about testing. Beth, it's a question we have been getting over and over again because you can't just go to that lab we just mentioned and get your test there. You have to go to your health care provider or a hospital first. Martha Buchanan, the director of the health department, says that they are working to ramp up testing at hospitals and health care providers across our area. It's one of their chief priorities right now. She says, though, not everyone needs a test. If you think you do, you should call your doctor. And if you're going to go to the emergency room, if you have those uh, severe symptoms, you need to call ahead. Beth.